When it comes to the issue of stranger danger, you know, those really rare attacks, but by somebody that you've never met, disproportionately women are the victims of those kinds of murders. Um, I've covered so many murder crimes as my uh, role as a reporter over the years, so many tragic uh, murders of young women. Have we become a safer country in the last year since the death of Sarah Everard, do you think? I still feel like we've got such a long way to go. Um, I would like to see um, violence against women and girls becoming a strategic requirement. So really elevating that to the sort of level of uh, child abuse or um, terrorism. So it gets the funding of resource that it truly deserves. Um, I feel that we're trying, for instance, the Met have brought out the Street Safe initiative and the Walk and Talk initiative. I mean, we're heading in the right direction, but I feel that it just falls flat. And I feel that we're just being paid lip service at the end of the day. It's just not enough. What's your reaction been to the misogyny, uh, so many of the things that have been exposed going on within not just the Metropolitan Police, but police forces up and down the country? Do you think that there is a problem coming from the top? And of course, Wayne Cousins was himself a Metropolitan Police officer. Yes, I feel that we need to be looking into this. It does need to be investigated. I do feel that it was so shocking and it was just it disturbed everyone to our core. We really do need to be tackling misogyny at all forms, head on, and that still does mean the police, you're right, that you know, they need to be held accountable.